Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. As part of this tutorial, we'll see three different ways in which if I give you any date, you will be able to identify what is a weekday name for it like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday or so on. The very first method we'll see is to use inbuilt functions to extract the weekday name for any given date. In many of the databases I have used in the past, there are some inbuilt functions like day of the week, weekday, day name. In this tutorial, we'll use to care function is available in most of the databases I have worked in the past. So I'm just printing a current date and then I'm using a to care function. I'm passing that current date as the first argument and then I'm extracting day. So I'm giving day as the second argument. Let me run this query and see the output. So you see here it is showing me the current date as 9th of January and the day as Sunday, which is accurate. Let's move to the second method. In the second method, if you're working in any data warehouse environment, you should be having a date dimension in it. So the second method I propose is you can use any, any existing date dimension in your data warehouse environment. So here dim underscore calendar, basically a calendar dimension table is the date dimension. And I'm just passing the current date as the filter because I just want the, for the current date, I want what is the day name or the weekday name. So let me run this query and see the output. You see, same output, 9th of January and the day is Sunday. The third method is if for some reason you cannot use date dimensions, you don't have any in-house function also available for you, then in that case, you can create a custom function for you. So here in this case, I'm creating a custom functions in Python. So the database I'm using allows me to create custom user defined functions using Python as the language. So it's a very sing it's a single line statement. I'm using Python calendar module and we have returning day name from it. So let me just create this function and then we'll see how this function will behave. Let me run this query and see. So you see, I got the same output, right? 9th of January and the day name is Sunday. I hope the third method is also clear to you. So as part of this tutorial, we saw three ways in which you can fetch weekday name for any given date in SQL. The very first method is to use inbuilt function like day of the week or here in this case, I have used to care. The second method is to use a date dimension. So if you have any date dimension table created as part of your data model, use that date dimension table pass filter to the current date or whatever date you are looking for, pass that as a filter condition and it will return you the proper day name. And the third method, create a custom function in your desired language other than SQL. So in this case, I've used Python and you can create a custom UDF and use that UDF in your SQL query. Hope all the three methods are clear to you. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. Thank you for watching the video.